Hello everyone, welcome to the Nagwal Zone. My name is Anam. Today I'd like to discuss something that I've seen prevalent a lot in the world and as the uh, as time passes by and the generations come and go, I see that becoming a lot more obvious in a lot more people. And but I want to start with a with a quote from John or uh, 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 the the man commonly um, known as Don Juan Matus. And John said one time to Carlos Castaneda, he said, it is possible to insist, to properly insist, even though we know that our acts are useless. To properly insist. It is possible to insist, to properly insist. So the point I'm, I want to make in this video is there's two kinds of... So remember this quote and we'll come back to it. There's two kinds of wills being applied by... Each person has their will that is being applied in their life. And it boils down to two paradigms. Two paradigms. Two ideas or two directions that the will is targeted towards. One is... What is the minimum, the bare minimum I can get away with? And this, can in, this includes everything, you know, every situation in the average man's life. What is the bare minimum I can get away with? There are very, very, very few people who in some parts of their life apply their will to the opposite paradigm, which is what is the most and the best I can do? And even more than that. What is the best I can do and even more? So, for example, you can have a business person, um, I don't know, someone who has a successful business who will apply this paradigm to their career, their work. But in the other parts of their life, they're applying the least I can get away with. Uh, paradigm okay so we all have a combination of the two most people the average man 90 percent of the pie is applied to what's the bare minimum I can do and a few of those average men are uh, are fortunate enough or uh, have the correct viewpoint about their business or their relationship or their children or money or or fancy car or a good stereo system or my guitar or my singing or whatever things of the world um, that people the concerns and the demands and subscriptions of this world that people affiliate themselves with that we all do and then we uh, the nine ten percent of that pie chart we apply What's the best I can do in this situation? And more, right? Um, the warrior, on the other hand, has made a lifetime's commitment to completely do away with the paradigm of what's the least I can get away with and only chooses in the interests of impeccability, chooses only to work at any given moment in his or her life with the paradigm, what's the best I can do and more. Not go the extra one mile, go the extra ten. And so the warrior, um, it takes a lifetime of honing our discipline our sense of unbending intent, our sense of uh, our own impending death that uh, creates a queer kind of urgency to our actions, a finality to our decisions that then feeds into this paradigm, what's, what's the best I can do here and more? And it's 
it's not easy guys it's easy if you're pregnant and you're gonna have a kid that's the mating instinct running the show for you it's very easy to do the best and all these lovely things <laughs> we're not talking about that we're talking about self-generated so it's not your job that or your boss that's demanding of you to do the best that you're capable of and then you get motivated by the latest pep talk that you had in your company and um, or YouTube video you watched and oh yes yes I should do this and oh wow amazing I am so inspired you know, that's all the average man's way pendulum here there there's no inner control there's no inner flow that is in line with nature because nature is always properly insisting it is possible to insist to properly insist so so you take that possibility in in your life aim to become the kind of person that knows that it is possible to properly insist that each thing each thought, each project, each issue, everything that the warrior finds themselves in the midst of is carried out at least on their part, regardless and independent of anything else. From their side at least, it's carried out to its proper conclusion in the best, most efficient and light-hearted way possible, most intelligent way possible. And that you have properly insisted so that when that thing ends, whatever it is, you are left without a shred of regret. Not convincing yourself that I am someone who does not regret things. Actually, you look back and you go, yep, I insisted till it was not possible to insist. And I did my absolute best. And I walk away from this totally free knowing that I have done my absolute best and more and more. That's when, guys, you, you live a life that when death taps you on your shoulder, you welcome it as a friend, not as an enemy, because you have no regrets holding you back. So think along these lines think about this is a very deep topic and it's something that the average man easily misses because they simply don't know think how can you become the kind of person that properly insists walk in freedom till next time take care now